This morning, primary voting begins. What's on the ballot and how you can vote early. Plus, put out why tenants at an apartment complex say they have had enough. And we did have some snow flurries overnight. That's moved down to the east. Actually, a milder day today, but we are tracking some more snow later in the week. We'll talk more about it coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us on this Tuesday. Another chilly start out there. What's going on? We get the first day of spring today. It's the equinox. Something about a lion and a lamb. <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. Well, Kelly's here. He's going to tell us all about no, it. Let's, let's, go. let's do that again. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, no. We'll do that again. Anyway, it's uh, going to be a kind of an active end of the uh, week going into the weekend. Yeah, spring does officially arrive. Not until tonight at 10 o'clock. And it's a uh, feeling chilly again this morning. 21 is the wind chill here in Madison. 17 in Janesville. 16 in Juneau. It feels like 22 in Lone Rock. So it is a chilly start to the morning. Temperatures around 30, a little bit milder than yesterday. At least the wind chills aren't generally in the teens like we saw yesterday. So it'll be northwest flow, but that's shifting on to the east. You still see some snow showers across much of the Great Lakes. We're going to see a little bit of a shift for one day, and that's going to bring us some milder temperatures today as we hit the lower 50s this afternoon with some sunshine expected. But the rest of the week, we're talking about some 30s and some snow as the storm system moves in from the northwest, likely to bring us some accumulating snow that will be impacting us for the morning commute come Friday morning. Do have some clouds this morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s. That southwest wind will continue up there at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The clouds gradually departing, but we do warm up into the lower 50s. There may actually be some mid 50s with a little bit more sunshine out toward Boscobel, Prairie du Chien, and Platteville going into the afternoon. But it is a little bit chilly this morning with that southwest wind at uh, 10 miles per hour. Temperature right now at 30. Clouds will be departing as we head into the mid 40s at the noon hour. Low 50s today, but uh, colder weather for the rest of the week and we'll track that snow not only for Friday, another system arriving later in the weekend. We'll track both those systems coming up. Okay, Kelly, thank you. We are two weeks away now from the presidential primary here in Wisconsin, and that means that in-person absentee ballots are now available. That's right, and there is more than just the presumptive presidential nominees at stake come April. Two constitutional amendments are on the ballot this year as well. Both were pushed through the legislature by Republicans. The first would make it illegal to accept private grant money to administer state elections, which happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. The other would make it so only election officials designated by law can administer elections. Now, these are impactful amendments, and election officials say it's important to vote correctly to make sure your vote counts. If there's a crossover vote in the presidential primary, that invalidates the votes in the presidential primary, but everything else on your ballot would still count. Now, if you voted back in the 2022 midterms, then you already know the drill. The rules haven't changed much since then. Now, voters can go to any of Madison's 34 polling locations, regardless of where they live. That's different than Election Day, where voters need to go to the location assigned to them. If you aren't registered to vote, then you need to bring some ID and proof of address residency, like a piece of mail or a copy of your apartment lease. Since this is a primary vote, you also need to vote for a party and make sure your candidate is also with that same party. Otherwise, that portion of your ballot will not count. You can find a full list of Madison's absentee voting locations up on our website right now at channel3000.com. Meantime, a group of Democratic voters is launching a campaign today to vote unrestricted on the primary ballots. Organizers say they want to show Democrats that their votes uh, the voters, rather, do not have confidence in President Joe Biden. The divide comes from the administration's handling of the war in Israel, which many younger voters disagree with and feel passionately about. There were similar movements in Michigan and Minnesota. About 13 percent voted uncommitted in the Michigan primary, 19 percent in Minnesota. 604 Now, News 3 Now's call for action team is taking action for you and getting answers when you can't. In this case of a condo owner. She reached out to us after she had a series of issues with her brand new home. Our Catherine Merck followed up with Mary Karsten back in January after moving into the Church Hill condos in DeForest. She says the unit experienced code violations and many other issues that she believes were plain and simple poor craftsmanship. And it wasn't just Karsten facing these issues either. Her neighbors sent dozens of photos of issues like holes in screens, water in the basement leaking through pipes and messy landscaping that Mary says 
was supposed to be covered in the contract. We've talked to landscapers and they've said really to get it up to par would cost us eighty to $100,000. And as a new condo um, complex and association, we just don't have those types of funds saved up in our reserve yet. Coming up in the next half hour, we get answers from the city and the developers of the condo and try to find out how this community can fix these homes. There's a similar situation unfolding in Rock County. Tenants of one Beloit apartment complex are fed up with what they say is mismanagement and unlivable conditions. Our Maddie Himes reports. I just don't want to be living like I'm a homeless person just because they finna upgrade my apartment. Beloit's Woodside Terrace is an affordable living community. Of the complex's 120 units, 116 are home to elderly, disabled, or low-income tenants. Owned by Wisconsin Management Company, the complex is currently undergoing renovations. But the already vulnerable tenants tell me the construction has disrupted and even displaced them. This is the handicapped elderly building. You know, I recently had a stroke a couple of months ago and I had to pack up my whole apartment. I sat in on a meeting of about 10 tenants, each one echoing concerns about paying rent money while also searching for alternative short-term living arrangements. It's a lack of communication between the construction people, the office people, and the tenants. We received a statement from Wisconsin Management Company and Community Preservation Partners, reading in part, ADA units require more extensive updates, and residents in these units may need to vacate their units for up to 30 days. During this time, residents will be provided with hotel and food vouchers for the entire period at no cost to them. But tenants told me some of them had been displaced for up to two weeks with only a one night motel voucher. Many have resorted to staying in their cars, in shelters and even piling into one another's units, all while paying rent for their own apartments. I didn't even know this young lady right here. Sure did. But guess what? I know her now because she had no place to go and I invited her to my place. Reporting in Beloit, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. We will continue to update you as the living conditions of these tenants changes right here on Channel 3, on News 3 Now and Channel 3000.com. All right, 607, let's check in with Kelly Slifka. Yeah, we are looking at some uh, quiet weather this morning. It's a little chilly. We're tracking some snow later in the uh, forca forecast later this week. We'll talk more about that first warning alert day coming up. And still ahead, where Badger Sports are heading this week. We've got details on several teams with some big games later this week. That's coming up in sports. And we're at the Beyond Blessed Food Pantry in Baraboo this morning, where the boxes are officially packed ahead of their big day tomorrow. We're going to talk about just how much of a need they're seeing in this community and how you can help them moving forward. Coming up. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. Menards has everything you need to get your garden ready for spring. Plus, get an 11% rebate on everything. 
Find everything from seed packets to soil, gardening tools, and more. Master Force has all of the gardening tools you need to create the yard of your dreams. From lawnmowers and leaf blowers to string trimmers and hand tools. This fiberglass handle, digging shovel is durable, versatile, and now $29.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the as the seasons change, it's so refreshing. And at Madison Lighting, they're following the trends in lighting and home decor. Their lighting experts help me bring my style to light. A fresh start with lighting for indoors and out at Madison Lighting. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Welcome back on your Tuesday. A local, a local food pantry is looking to expand after seeing an increase in folks needing some help. And you can show your support in the 608 this morning. Josh Spriders live in Baraboo this morning, uh, telling us about uh, this food pantry and what they need. Josh, tell us all about it. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're at the Beyond Blessed Food Pantry here in Baraboo. And not only are they doing amazing things in this community, they have a lot going on, and they're looking forward into the future and moving forward with that. They're going to need your help. This morning, the executive director is with us, Shannon Howley. Shannon, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Josh. Thank you so much for having us out. So I know Wednesday is your big day. You guys are busy getting prepared with all these boxes behind you, and you're seeing a growing need here in the Baraboo area. We are. We have seen numbers of upwards of 700 in the last weeks that we've been serving since the end of 2023. So and to put that into perspective, 700 people, this is like double the numbers you were seeing during the pandemic. Yep, and it's 700 households. So that's the thing that's, it's not just individuals, it's households. So that's the number of households. There's average household is 3.5 people. So when you look at the need here in the Baraboo community, you need help in making this happen and serving the community as well. Absolutely. Um, we use about 60 to 75 volunteers every single Wednesday and that's just Wednesday. My, I always joke and say that we serve on Wednesday and we start over on Thursday to serve the next Wednesday. You gotta <laughs> always be looking forward. I want to show some people some video and some images here because Wednesdays are big days for you. You have a line of cars out the driveway. You have a lot of people here. This is a big deal for the community. It really is. Um, we, when we started I had no idea we were going to be this big but here we are and we just keep doing what we do and our biggest mission is to serve Serve, not judge. You know, what is the best way for people to support you guys in your mission here in Baraboo? So I say every food pantry needs three things, volunteers, money, and food. And so those are the things that we need the most. Um, it depends upon what per, you know what part we're talking about. We obviously just launched a capital campaign, so that requires a lot of money, but also keeping people fed. You know, when you're feeding, if you imagine feeding your family, now times that times 700. So that's what we do. That's a lot of people. So moving forward, obviously you guys are seeing a lot of growth here and you guys are also trying to grow into something even bigger. Talk to us about that because you have a capital campaign going on right we now. We do, we do. So we actually have a building that we found that we would like to move to and own ourselves. We've rented for the last well, we've been doing this for nine years, but Beyond Blessed has been since 2018. Um, we'd like to have our own building. We need more space at this current time. We move about 50,000 pounds of food a week, every week. So we're handling things a few more times than we should. If we had space that could allow us to move from room to room, that would be helpful. Um, we do have a truck that we use, which is awesome. Um, but we're handling things far more than we would if we had a little bit bigger space and we currently borrow space from other businesses as well so what you see here is what we do on a weekly basis but there's back stock that we need room for as well and so what we're looking at is to find a building that can hold everything we need plus do the distribution that we need to so you guys are super busy here what keeps you going um, I love what I do. So the fact that I love what I do is amazing and honestly when you love what you do it doesn't feel like work. 
and giving back is huge, especially for this community. Yes. Having the people helping lift you up as well in this is huge. I have the best group of volunteers ever, and I mean that. Like, people show up week after week, we work them super hard, and then they go home tired and come back again. We have people here almost every day of the week, even though we only serve on Wednesdays. Wow, that's incredible. Well, Shannon, we appreciate you spending some time with us on this Tuesday morning. I know it's early for you, so thank you so much. <laughs> it is, but we're here. <laughs> you're here, you're always making it happen. We appreciate it. If you'd like to learn more about the Beyond Blessed Food Pantry, you can go to this story up on channel3000.com. Again, you can learn how you can donate, you can learn how you can also volunteer and help out what they have doing with amazing things here in the Baraboo community, guys. Back right. to you. Yeah, thanks for letting us know. Hopefully our viewers can do something and help them out. Absolutely. All right, Josh, thank you very much. We'll talk to you in a bit. It's a quarter after six, sending things outside to Mr. Cold, Kelly Slifka out there. Yeah, it is a, a chilly morning again, and uh, the wind, you maybe can hear it on my microphone here and there as we uh, go through the um, uh, forecast this morning. Definitely can feel the wind this morning. It's at 30 in Madison, 31 in Middleton, a few degrees warmer than where we were yesterday at this time. But those winds, like on a Buffalo Lake that uh, Philip got, Probably going to create a chop on the water again. Right now, the winds are out of the southwest, up to around 10 miles per hour in Madison. 23 right now in Monroe, 14 mile per hour uh, winds in Monroe Point. So it's a breezy start to the day, and that's uh, putting that wind chill value generally in the 20s. Yesterday, most areas were in the teens, maybe not quite as chilly as yesterday, but uh, enough to... Uh, break out the winter gear again, to, uh, at least for the morning hours. Uh, some clouds around this morning. Uh, either way, it looks like the uh, temperatures will rise quite a bit sooner than what we had yesterday. Winds will be out of the uh, southwest this morning, switch around the northwest. And with the uh, sunshine breaking through the clouds, I think we should be tapping out the lower 50s today. May actually see some mid 50s later this afternoon. But we do have some snow chances. It's hard to believe spring arrives tonight at 10.06. Not going to feel like it over the next, well, basically the next uh, 7 to 10 days with some snow in our forecast Thursday night. Another opportunity for some snow to close out the weekend. Uh, some of that will be mixing with some rain early next week. So, yeah, it's going to be an active weather pattern setting up. Do have a first warrant alert day due to the impacts of some snow waking up Friday morning, likely to be accumulating on some of the roads. Now, this time of the year, usually it's a very sloppy, wet snow, and that's what we can expect uh, early Friday morning. All right, we'll track that snow for you. Now, Thursday during the day should be no problem. Into the early evening should be no problem. It'll be tracking in from the northwest. That's when we'll start to see the snow before midnight. Moderate snow at times. It looks like a Thursday night into early Friday morning. We'll be right on that edge, as we always are, of the rain and snow line, mainly along the Illinois border. That should be coming to an end in the uh, early afternoon hours as we go into Saturday it looks like a quiet day but then we have another system coming in from the south this one will have a lot more moisture with it so initially some snow developing Sunday and then as it gets warm enough Sunday afternoon Sunday evening that'll change over to some rain before changing over back over to a little bit of snow rain mixture as we go into Monday as far as snow from the first system coming in Thursday night into Friday, a couple of inches, maybe several inches for some, depending on where that track of snow moves in. We do have a first warrant alert day for that second system that will be arriving later in the weekend into early next week. Snow and then eventually some heavier rain expected, so a lot of moisture headed away. We still need it here in southern Wisconsin due to the uh, drought that we had last summer. 30 right now in Madison. It is uh, 31 in Middleton, 29 currently in Oregon and also Verona. First warm forecast, a breezy day today, but that southwest wind should push our temperatures in the low 50s. That cold front arrives tonight, drops us back in the 30s for the rest of the week. There's that first warm alert day. Snow develops Thursday night into Friday morning. A dry day Saturday before that second system moves in from the south, brings us some snow, then eventually some rain and maybe some moderate to heavier rains developing Monday with the first warm alert day Sunday into Monday of next week. Okay. Uh, Kelly, thanks. 618. The Badger men's basketball team, they're getting ready for their big matchup on Friday against James Madison. But the women's team has a bit more time to practice. They're set to return to the WNIT for the first time since 2011. And they get a first round bye at that. We don't know the time for the game just yet, but the ladies will be facing the winner of the matchup between Southern Indiana and UIC. We'll know the time and place after March 22nd when the first round is over. All right, let's take a live look at New York City now, where the Badgers men's basketball team is going to be facing James Madison on Friday night. But other teams are already putting the ball to the court today. That's because the NCAA tournament starts with the two of the first four matchups that happen later today. If you have not filled out a bracket just yet and you want to maybe fill out another one, we've got an option for you. The News 3 Now Bracket Challenge is back, and you can compete for a chance to win a $500 gift card. 
All entries must be submitted before noon on Thursday. To find a link where you can fill out your bracket, just search for this story on our website. It's right up there on the home page at channel3000.com. Still got some final tweaks to mine. Uh, mine's a blank slate at Come this on. point, but it's on the agenda this morning. That That's uh, one of my to-do items yeah. is to get that all filled out because we've got kind of an inner office competition going on. That's and right. um, I, I want to get, maybe I'll sneak a, a fake account into oh. that. <laughs> I'm telling on you. I shouldn't you. say that live, <laughs> live TV. Maybe I'll sneak a bracket into our, our March Madness contest at channel 3000. dollars gift card. That's pretty great. That, that's, it's not nothing. No, love that. <laughs> and more action to look forward to this week for the Badgers. Friday, the women's hockey team is going to play in the Frozen Four. Badgers take on Colgate at 6.30 as they look to punch their ticket to the finals and repeat as champions. We'll have coverage of both tournaments, so make sure to stay with News 3 now. And a quick programming note for you before we head to break. Tomorrow, we'll be carrying the Bucks and Boston Celtics game right here on WISC-TV. The Bucks game starts at 6.30, which means Survivor and The Amazing Race will be on television, Wisconsin. That's 3.2 over the air and on cable and satellite services. Survivor begins at 7 p.m., Amazing Race at 8.30. Once the Bucks game is over, the Amazing Race will be joined in progress. It will also continue on TW. Those who are unable to access TW over the air on cable or satellite have the option to watch the next day on CBS.com. Still ahead, a popular publication gets new life. What to expect for an iconic sports magazine. And coming up in our next half hour, our call for action team is bringing your questions to the people in power. How they're helping people who are living in some rough conditions. Susan Simon, News 3 Now at 4 and 5, weekdays moving forward. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. I would like to tell you about the man I love, Eric, who is running for the U.S. Senate. A fourth generation Wisconsinite, he graduated from East High and then became a proud Badger. When we met, I knew right away he was a take action guy, a natural leader. He started his first business in his 20s and then built and turned around over a dozen companies, creating thousands of good paying jobs. As busy as he was, our family always came first. Eric has a huge heart. In his 30s, he started the Hubdi Foundation, which focuses on homelessness and rescues children from abuse, sex trafficking, and slavery. He loves our country and Wisconsin. He believes in the American dream, and he wants it to be possible for everyone. Above all, Eric is a man of integrity. He is principled, honest, and straightforward. These are the qualities I want in a U.S. Senator to fight for Wisconsin. How about you? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm-hmm. Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect <laughs> products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what really matters when you need help after a serious truck accident. You'll need a lawyer experienced in fighting and winning for people just like you. Gruber Law Offices has the resources, strong track record of success, and a team of experienced lawyers to take care of your needs. We've successfully helped people injured in big truck accidents for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Not go. It's free if I do it, babe. <laughs> Whoa, you need the experts. Let the experts at Feldco make your home renewal project a cinch with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for five years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. 
Your eyewear should be as individual as you. With Shopco Optical's extensive selection of frames and lenses, our optometrists will learn about you and help you customize the right choice for your lifestyle. Visit Shopco Optical and find your new signature style today. All right, Train's here with the trending story of the day. All right, let's get to it. We've got an update on Sports Illustrated. Yes. The sports magazine has apparently been saved. Some good news here this morning. The publication is set to get new life under a publishing deal announced by Authentic Brands Group. Now, we've talked about the tumultuous several months that the magazine has had in the last year or so. There were mass layoffs. Of course, that AI scandal where... They were making up authors and making up stories. I mean, some really bizarre stuff. Some senior executives also left. But now a London-based sports-oriented digital media company will take over. Okay. So hopefully moving in the right direction. Yeah. I don't know if it'll ever get back to, you know, what it was in its heyday, oh. which was really kind of the cream of the crop when it came it to sports journalism. Um especially print you know I mean it, it just a staple yeah it's just a totally different landscape now you know mm -hmm. we have very fond memories of Sports Illustrated and the quality of reporting and the the writing and the photography uh, that just worked together so effortlessly mm -hmm. to make it the powerhouse that it was absolutely uh, it's just for better or worse this this sports journalism landscape is just different now yeah, and, you know, there's so much more online and social media and all those things where people maybe aren't picking up a magazine as often. But if you still can, I say, you know, support these publications. Yeah. Hopefully this new life gives it the yeah. jolt it needs. Yeah, still some brand value there. Yeah. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, we are back right after this. Don't go anywhere. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. Yes. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. So what did we learn today? The Spectrum One gives people everything that they need at a great price. And what are those things? Super fast internet. Comes with it, yes. A line of unlimited mobile. Now we're cooking, yes, comes with it. Free advanced Wi-Fi. Also comes with it. What else do people want, guys? Uh, a sense of purpose and direction in life. It does come with state-of-the-art security features, which is kind of like the same thing. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month with free advanced Wi-Fi and a free line of unlimited mobile for 12 months. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. Big bloomin' deals all over the store during our huge spring home sale at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 50% off list means big savings. Brighten up your spring with Adirondack chairs in five colors. Update your living room for just $4.45. Relax, recline, and save as low as $2.49. Save up to 50% on select Tempera Adapt floor models, plus so much more, like totally free shipping with no minimum. Shop now at the big spring home sale at Slumberland Furniture. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games.
Watch as Giannis and the Bucks ship up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. We feel happening. like we were duped, like we're being bullied, and it's it's just not fair. Uh, this morning on News 3 Now, this morning, a call for action. We'll hear complaints from condo owners about their brand new homes. Plus, today, opening arguments beginning in the trial of Mike Wagner. What to expect today at the courthouse. And looking outside this morning, just before the sun comes up on what will be the first day of spring, Kelly Slipka is talking about those temps. Yeah, kind of up and down over the next 24 hours. A little chilly this morning. It's going to be a mild day today, but we're talking about some colder weather and also tracking some snow later this week. More coming up. Hey, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Yeah, it's another chilly start out there. Kelly's got some alert days in the forecast. Lots yeah. to keep an eye on when it comes to the weather. All right, first let's talk about the equinox because it's <laughs> today. Yes, it is. It officially arrives at 10.06 tonight. So really, tomorrow is the first day, uh, day of spring. But at 10.06 tonight, the sun is going to be directly over the equator. That means equal day, equal night. We've got 12 hours of uh, daylight and 12 hours of nighttime. So we're headed in the right direction as far as the astronomical season is concerned. As far as our weather, though, it's uh, going to take a turn uh, later this week. Uh, chilly this morning, we're at uh, 21. As far as the uh, wind chill, this is what it feels like on exposed flesh with a southwest wind. 21 right now in the Dells, 17 in Janesville, 14 right now in Monroe. 30 in Madison, also Monona, 31 in Middleton, 30 in Mount Vernon, Sauk City currently at 31 as well. So a little chilly this morning, need that winter jacket, but should be a little bit milder this afternoon with that southwest wind. Low 50s expected this afternoon, but then we've got a cold front that'll arrive that'll bring some colder weather for the rest of the week, some 30s for highs. And then later in the week, Thursday night into Friday, some accumulating snow expected that will impact the uh, morning commute come Friday. Meantime, we do have some clouds right now. The uh, southwest wind will try to get rid of some of these clouds throughout the uh, morning hours. Low 50s expected today and actually some mid 50s, a little, little bit more sunshine off to the west this afternoon. So headed off to the bus stop, you will need that winter jacket this morning. Probably not so much going into the afternoon with some sunshine temperatures in the low 50s. We are tracking that snowmaker later this week, and it's not only that one, another one for the end of the weekend. We'll talk uh, more about these storm systems coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, sounds good, Kelly. Thank you. Happening today, opening arguments begin in the trial of Mark Wagner. Yesterday, the judge, prosecutors, and defense lawyers selected the jury. Wagner is charged with second-degree recklessly endangering safety in the shooting of Quadron Wilson, an unarmed black man. Wagner was one of nearly two dozen law enforcement officers trying to arrest Wilson in 2022 for drug crimes. The investigation found Wagner walked up to Wilson's car and shot twice. Wagner says he thought someone was shooting at him, though there's no evidence Wilson had a gun or any other weapon. Jurors will meet at the Dane County Courthouse this morning at 8.30. An update now in the search for missing three-year-old Elijah Vu. Earlier in their investigation, police say someone found the blanket Elijah was last seen with. Two Rivers officials say someone found the blanket a few miles from where Vu disappeared, this coming at the now four-week mark of Elijah's disappearance. His mother and her boyfriend are both facing child neglect charges, neither though charged in his disappearance. They will be both back in court on Thursday. Tenants of a Beloit apartment complex say conditions there are unlivable. Woodside Terrace is an affordable living community. 116 of the 120 units house low-income, elderly, and disabled tenants. Right now, the complex is undergoing some renovations. Some say that they've moved out during construction. Some say they're even staying in their cars. This is the handicapped elderly building. You know, I recently had a stroke a couple of months ago, and I had to pack up my whole apartment. The Wisconsin Management Company owns the building. Residents tell News 3 now they only received a one-night motel voucher to make up for the displacement. In a statement to News 3 now, though, they said ADA units require more extensive updates, and residents in these units may need to vacate their units for up to 30 days. 
During this time, residents will be provided with hotel and food vouchers for the entire period at no cost to them. 634 now, a DeForest condo owner contacted our call for action team after a series of issues at her home that she had just moved into. And her neighbors shared similar stories as well. And when she didn't hear back from the developer, our Catherine Merck got answers on when they can expect these changes in this call for action report. When Mary Karsten signed on the dotted line for her condo in DeForest. Literally, it was a contract and a piece of dirt. They hadn't even dug the hole yet. Her brand new place to live at the Churchill condos held a lot of hope as an up and coming development, but she'd soon find out. A lot of the things that they promised uh, really didn't come to fruition. She says the unit experienced code violations and many other issues that she believes were due to plain and simple poor craftsmanship. There's water problems due to the landscaping. Uh, we can't grow grass. It's basically rocks and weeds. We had a thistle problem. I talked to other owners of the condos for this story off camera just to see if these issues were happening elsewhere. They sent me dozens of photos of issues like holes in screens, water in the basement leaking through pipes, and messy landscaping that Mary says was supposed to be covered in the contract. We've talked to landscapers and they've said really to get it up to par would cost us eighty dollars to $100,000. And as a new condo um, complex and association, we just don't have those types of funds saved up in our reserve yet. I reached out to the developer, Dwight Ziegler, who Mary says she had a hard time getting in contact with. It's really hard to even just get them to pick up the phone and have a conversation. He got back to me over email. He said that they ran into a couple post-occupancy building code issues, but things are, quote, 100% up to building code. Something Mary says is not true. You feel so disregarded. Ziegler said he would fix other issues at the condos depending on the weather in the spring. I also reached out to the village administrator in DeForest. He told me the village took action and their building inspector has been in contact with the builder and Mr. Ziegler regarding a mitigation plan. He added that the violations may involve litigation. We feel like we were duped, like we're being bullied, and it's it's just not fair. While Mary says she believes the village has been working with the community that lives at the condos, she says she's left worried about what someone else could experience once they move into a condo from this builder. Until they're stopped, they're going to continue to do this to additional developments, additional homes that they're selling. And we just want people to be aware of that and that they do their research up front and pick a reputable builder and one that stands behind their product. The city administrator and residents at these condos say there are parts of the homes that are still not up to code. While reflecting on the situation, Mary says if she were to go back, she would have taken time to look into the builder and developer about other properties built by them in the area. Moving forward with this call for action, I'm Catherine Merck, News. Well, if you're looking to reach out to our call for action team, our volunteers take calls Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. That number is 608-270-2833. Taking a look at some national headlines affecting you this week now. We're going to start with a live look at our nation's capital. Congress is scrambling yet again to avoid a partial shutdown. The last temporary spending bill that's currently keeping the government open expires this Friday. For months, Congress has averted shutdowns at the last moment with stopgap bills. Earlier this month, lawmakers passed legislation to fund the government for the rest of the fiscal year. That makes this the last stopgap bill that this Congress will pass. The operations that still need funding include the Departments of Defense, Homeland Security, and Education. As of last night, negotiators were close to making a deal. They still face some hurdles, though, to pass it. For one, some House Republicans say they'll reject any deal that doesn't have certain border provisions. Current House rules also call for leadership to get 72 hours to review that deal. A quick vote on that would need consent from all members of the Senate. Meanwhile, House Speaker Mike Johnson is coming to the defense of Donald Trump. It comes after the former president made some controversial comments over the weekend at a campaign event while talking about potential economic impacts in the auto industry. Here's a clip of that moment and Johnson's response. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. 
really he was 100 percent correct and i think what he was saying at the rally reflects what most of the american people understand and believe if, if these mid-guide misguided policies of the biden administration are allowed to continue not only will we see a bloodbath in the auto industry which we are seeing we will see a bloodbath in our energy industry as well and in all the other sectors of our economy too the biden harris campaign made its own statement about trump's comment on the auto industry calling it a threat of political violence all of this is five states will hold presidential primaries today trump and biden have already clinched though the number of delegates needed to receive their party's nominations all right, waking up to some chilly temperatures this morning, but a mild day today before some more colder air and also some snow later in the forecast. We'll talk about the first one forecast just ahead. Plus, we're at Beyond Blessed Food Pantry in Baraboo learning about their future and why they need help right now with more growth in the Baraboo community. That's coming up next live in the 608. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years and the kids on it are great flexible hours. They work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Colson treats you decent. You know, all the years I worked here, it's a great place to work. Big trucks can be intimidating and so can their insurance companies. After a serious truck crash, you need a team on your side who knows how to handle trucking cases and who gets results. You need Gruber Law Offices. We know truck law, we know the rules and regulations, and we'll hold the insurance companies accountable. And there's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices, one call, that's all. Bet you didn't see that, or that. But if you were an Atlas with front assist and could detect things in .02 seconds, you'd see every scene hidden in this commercial. Let's slow it down and see. Huh, it's a man walking his dogs and a woman walking her dinosaurs. 0.02 seconds. It's quicker than the blink of an eye. The Atlas with front assist. Hop in. It's a VW. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now, moving forward. Get your bracket on with the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge. Make your tourney picks for a chance to win a $500 gift card and see how your bracket measures up against the News 3 Now sports team. Register and fill out your bracket now at channel3000.com. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Welcome back on your Tuesday morning. A local food pantry is looking to expand after seeing an increase in some folks needing help in that area. And now we can show you how to support them right here in the 608 today. Josh Breider is live in Baraboo to tell us all about it. Josh, what do they need? 
Hey, good morning, guys. We're at Beyond Blessed Food Pantry in Baraboo this morning, where they are seeing a growing need in the community and also a need for more support here in the 608. Shannon Howley is the executive director. Shannon, thank you so much for having us here this morning. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. So you've been an official nonprofit since 2018, and your numbers just continue to go up. They do. So at the height of the pandemic, we were seeing households around 350, and going into 2023, we thought we would settle out somewhere between 425 to 450. And we actually settled out closer to 700. That is a big number. It is a big number. It's a lot of work. You know, and that's what you guys are here for because this is a judgment free zone. You just want to make sure people are getting the food they need. The number one thing that we teach all volunteers is that we're here to serve, not judge. So, yes, it's a judgment free zone. You need help, or it will help you instead of the word need. We're here to do that. So, so you guys uh, get ready for Wednesdays. That's your big day around here. Obviously, all of these boxes. What exactly are you giving away to these folks uh, that need this? So these are just the dry boxes. This is just one of the many things we try to do. Fresh produce. We do meat. We do dairy. We do bread, and then whatever fresh produce we have. But in a dry box, we have a lot of different things from vegetables to meals to snacks to drinks. It's kind of all-encompassing. We try to make sure that we always have vegetables, always have a meal option, always have a protein, um, so that there's dry food items items as well and it, it differs week to week depending upon what we get in. Yeah, getting that balance in for sure. So I want people to see some photos and video that you have from Wednesday specifically because this place is hopping. I mean, not only do you have a lot of volunteers, but also the line of cars out the driveway. Yeah, any given time we have 150 to 200 cars in line. So we have a road crew that that's managing that on a weekly basis. But there's there's a lot of movement that happens here on a Wednesday. How do you keep going here with the growing need? Um, so we do a lot of food rescue from local grocers. Um, I put in orders and order food weekly from Second Harvest. I'm a partner with Second Harvest. And also, um, we, anytime I hear the word free, I say yes and we go. That's the joke around here is I say, I hear free, we say yes. So it's a lot of food rescue and just bringing things in that way too. But then I also order every single week. We probably give out about 50,000 pounds of food every week. That is a big number in itself as it well. Is. It is. And with the volunteers, I mean, you couldn't do it without your amazing team here. I have the best team ever. Um, every Wednesday, we have about s between 60 to 75 volunteers, and that's just on Wednesdays. We have, you know, volunteers that are here almost every day of the week doing something between food rescue. We, we give everything out on Wednesday. We start on Thursday preparing for the next Wednesday. There's always that. Uh, looking forward. And looking forward for you right now, you're looking at a brand new space. You've started a capital campaign that people can help support. We did. So we're looking to raise $3 million by the end of July. Um, trust in the Lord to bring that in and hoping that the right people here and contact us and want to help us move to our own location. There's some benefits with owning your own building. There's different grants and things that you can write when you own versus rent. So there's that. But really, we need to streamline processes to keep this going. If numbers continue to rise, we need to be able to continue to serve and we need more space to do that. A lot of moving parts, but you guys definitely are all about serving the community and no questions asked when people come in here. Correct. No questions asked. They get uh, they get asked very bit basic information, the most detailed that I I get is what zip code they live in and that's it and that's because I track zip, zip codes so that if we see an area that's more desperate for food we try to get additional help in the area as well all right well Shannon thank you so much for thank the amazing you. things in the community and good luck moving forward thank you I appreciate it yes we have all this information if you'd like to help out the Beyond Blessed Food Pantry on channel 3000.com just click the link right up on our story on the website guys back to you Josh Breider thank you all right Josh all right, it is 647, sending things outside to Kelly Slipka. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. I really can feel the wind out here this morning. It's been howling all morning long. It's a southwest wind, so it is chilly right now, but that southwest wind is going to bring us some milder weather. And typically when you shift from cold weather to mild weather, you see some of these high thin cirrus clouds, and that's what we have across the skyline here in Madison. Temperatures today will be quite a bit warmer than yesterday. We only hit 36 yesterday, expecting a high of 51, actually above average. Average high now 55, so it'll be up here just after 7 o'clock. We're right on the edge of the coldest of air, kind of shifting off to the east, at least temporarily. A mild air off to the west. Now, it looks like that colder air will move right back into the upper Mississippi Valley, the Great Lakes, as we go into tonight and tomorrow, right through Thursday and Friday. And we're watching a system that'll be bringing us some snow, it looks like, going into uh, Friday morning. Looks like the cool weather is going to linger though right into early parts of next week. So we are looking at some snow that'll be tracking in by uh, Thursday night. So this will be mainly 
uh, toward the midnight hour Thursday night going into Friday morning. But waking up Friday morning, we could be talking about, I don't know if it's going to be six to eight inches of snow, like this computer model is indicating, but we could expect several inches of snow. It's going to be that really wet, sloppy snow uh, spreading into southern Wisconsin. All right, 30 right now in Madison, 31 in Middleton, 31 in Verona, Middle, uh, Brooklyn right now at 30. Winds are out of the southwest. I tell you what, it feels a lot stronger than what is showing up here on the map because uh, we can really hear that wind out here while the southwest right now at 10 miles per hour officially at the airport. It does feel like 21 in Madison, 16 in Janesville. Need that winter jacket this morning. I do have some of those high thin cirrus clouds. Those will thin out throughout the day. Mid 40s expected at the noon hours. We top out in the lower 50s today. A little bit more sunshine to the west could be boosting the temperatures in the mid 50s out there toward Boscobel, the uh, southern uh, southwestern parts of the state. So today will actually be above average, but after that it's looking rather chilly for the rest of the week into the weekend. Temperatures in the 30s. And we have that accumulating snow that will be arriving Thursday night into Friday. Generally two to five inches of snow across southern Wisconsin. So that'll be that really wet, sloppy snow that'll be affecting the morning commute Friday morning. Uh, so we are expecting some accumulating snow by then. So we'll track that for you on Thursday. Some of the snow spreading in as we get toward the midnight hour. And that will linger into a Friday morning before tapering off to the uh, afternoon hours. Then we'll get a dry day on Saturday, but then by Sunday, another system coming in from the south. This will have more moisture with it. Cold enough for initially some snow, but I think eventually that will mix with and change over to some rain. And we're looking at a lot of moisture coming our way. It looks like uh, by early parts of next week. We still need the uh, rainfall. We need some moisture out there because of the drought that's ongoing, especially areas to the west and northwest of Madison. We do have a first warm alert day for the second system. This will be bringing in snow and then eventually some heavy rain and some wind Sunday into Monday. 30 right now in Madison, 32 in the Dells, 28 in Janesville, and also Monroe across Dane County. It's uh, 30 right now in Sauk City and Wanakee currently at 30. All right, our first warm forecast, a breezy day today already this morning up to 50 one. That northwest wind will bring us some cooler weather, though, tomorrow, 35. We'll be in the 30s the rest of the week with that snow developing, not until later Thursday night and continuing Friday morning. Therefore, the first warm alert day, a dry day Saturday before some of that snow moves in Saturday night into Sunday, mixing with some rain and some heavy rains expected by Monday with temperatures in the upper 40s. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Hey, a quick programming note for you on uh, Wednesday. We will be carrying the Bucks and Boston Celtics game right here on WISC, WISC TV. The Bucks game starts at 6.30, so Survivor and the Amazing Race will be on television, Wisconsin. That's channel 3.2 over the air. Survivor begins at 7, Amazing Race at 8.30. Once the Bucks game is over, Amazing Race will come back on air and in progress. Uh, if, and it will continue in progress on TW. If you can't access TW, you can watch CBS primetime programming the next day on CBS.com. Kevin up in the morning sprint. Uh, look at the finalists from Monona Grove superintendent position. We're back after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Marlene is proud to celebrate 120 years as a family-owned and operated lumber yard in Wisconsin. Throughout the years, Marlene Lumber and Homeworks has expanded its product lines to include cabinetry, windows, doors, and much more. Our showrooms in Janesville and Madison are state-of-the-art. They're ready for you to see the many ways your building or remodeling vision can come to reality with the help of our in-house designers. Marlene Lumber and Homeworks, for all your building and remodeling needs. Marlene.com, celebrating 120 years. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Washington has become corrupt. Career politicians sell themselves to special interests and end up working for them and not you. I've worked hard, been fortunate. I don't need their special interest money and I won't take it. If you decide to elect me as your next senator, I'll donate my entire salary to a Wisconsin charity every year. I'm Eric Covey. I can't be bought and I'll put you and our country first. <laughs> 
I approve this message. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95 plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. For the best looking fence, call Revamp Fence today. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks ship up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. 6.55 time for the morning sprint. A bar in Milton has significant damage this morning after a fire last night. Rock County Dispatch received a call uh, for a fire at Snuffy's Tavern at about 7 o'clock last night. That's during business hour. No reports of any injuries. Uh, the last unit on scene left around 12.30 overnight. Today, jurors will head back to the Dane County Courthouse for the start of Mark Wagner's trial. Wagner is charged with recklessly endangering safety. The charge stems from the shooting of Quadron Wilson back in 2022. Wagner was one of the two officers who fired their guns that day, though he is the only one charged. Arguments start at 8.30 this morning. The Monona Grove School District has three finalists for its superintendent of schools. They include Dr. Anu Evie, who works for MMSD, Dr. Tanya Frederick, who works for the Elmbrook School District, and Dr. Kurt Schneider, who works for an educational co-op in Illinois. They'll be in Monona Grove this Thursday to tour the schools and meet students. The board will name a new superintendent by mid-April. The Wisconsin presidential primary is just two weeks away, which means in-person absentee voting opens today. Aside from the already decided primary elections, there are two constitutional amendments on the ballot. One would make it illegal to use private grants in elections, and the other would decide who can administer elections. All right, coming up on uh, 7 o'clock this morning, we are looking at some uh, seven, 50s today, but some snow develops Thursday night into Friday. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're back in 30 minutes.